would you like to take us through the presentation of force motors here at the show we are a veteran uh, automobile organization last 60 years and uh, the uniqueness of the organization is that we have been always innovating and creating path making products based on our technology we create the product for a particular segment and then we build on from there uh, we started 1948-47 with the NCA, the first, uh, I'll say, first automized public transportation vehicle, and then come in uh, what is called Matador, and Mini Door, and even uh, Traveler. And with Traveler, we brought in the country a new technology that is uh, monocoque. And today, this vehicle is unique. And as a result, we have uh, the leadership in the van segment. In fact, the van segment itself started by Traveler. Sure. And now building on that same technology, we came into T2, which we call 26 seater segment, which in which we are number two player now in the span of last, last four years. Recently. Now with this uh, Expo, starting from Bangalore uh, Auto Expo, uh, we where we introduced uh, our traveler monobus, and uh, I'm very happy to inform that from yesterday onwards, it's a coincidence that from yesterday onwards uh, we have started the commercial production of uh, uh, monobus traveler monobus, and we have started seeding it to the you know, focus towns of Mumbai, uh, Pune, okay. etc. And you will uh, very shortly see the vehicles on road. Sure. Now coming to uh, our hero product, Traveler Monobus. Uh, how it is different? Why first Monobus? Yeah. It is um, the first bus in the country with such a large monocoque. Never in the history okay. anybody could produce a monocoque of this size. Okay. Now why monocoque? Mm -hmm. How it differentiates? it from the other vehicles, the chassis based vehicle. Monocoque is like an aircraft, one piece. And that property itself makes it lighter than a chassis based bus, where a chassis frame has been mounted, uh, you know, the, whatever, the cage is mounted on the uh, chassis frame, makes it two parts, where the monocoque is one part. And this, in the two similar type of vehicle, chassis versus monocoque, Monocoque bus is 6 to 800 kg lighter than the similar category of bus. Oh. Similar seating capacity. Okay. When the vehicle is lighter, what happens? Yeah. One, the fuel mileage goes up. We, as per our results, 15% will be a better efficiency, fuel efficiency than a similar type of vehicle in the similar circumstances to compare with a chassis based bus. 15%. 15%. Now, if you see the total cost of operation, it leads to the return on investment. 60 to 65% expense comes from fuel. 10% comes from diet. And balance, let's say around 30% or 25% or 20 25% comes from the maintenance. Maintenance and consumer. When your 65% component is 15% efficient, yeah. Straight away you get a 9 rupees benefit. Two. Right? One. Second with monocoque being a one shell, mm. like an aircraft. Yeah. Apart from being lighter, it gives your better TCO yeah. and an ROI. Yeah. Very important factor comes in the comfort and convenience of the driver and the passenger. Correct. When a shell is there, the NBH level is lower than the chassis based buses. When NBH is level, your comfort and convenience for the passenger as a driver is enhanced. And ultimately, when the a passenger is more comfortable, his efficiency in he goes to office or a child goes to school is improved. So, and we have measured in our labs how the monocoque uh, is uh, having less uh, you know, vibration with NBH than the chassis, and excellent results uh, have come on the uh, decibel value. Wonderful. Third very very important factor what monocoque brings in is the durability. Any is any common sense 
if you bolt or weld two things, they in the long run it will rattle. Or when is one piece, mm. and that too, when we do the painting, we have a seven uh, seven generation painting process, CED process. Okay. The whole vehicle is dipped in the primer. Okay. Deep base painting. Dipped in the primer. Wow. Whereas in the chassis base bus, the painting is done, the primer is done in the base mm. by the spring. Got it. So people come to know only after four to five years or six years when the dusting starts from here. Wow. Which I'm sure I mean, the customer knows it that a traveler being in monocoque, same now monobus will give the same feature. This is after the monocoque mm. uh, differentiation. Correct. Now a very unique thing which we have introduced on the safety factor is the braking. It has about a hydraulic disc brakes with a uni booster. Uni booster. Okay. What is uni booster? I take you to uh, the European and American standards of safety. Mm -hmm. There up to 15 ton of vehicle is it mandatory to have a hydraulic brakes with uni booster. If you see in India, mm -hmm. people are more used to air brakes. That right? Yeah. Yeah, because typically mm -hmm. a Cargo commercial vehicle has been changed to the passenger vehicle. Correct. And this is a known known fact. Yeah. We being the typical van manufacturer, mm -hmm. we have taken that technology and enhanced to the minibus category. Correct. Correct. So our results shows that if I compare the Unibooster hydraulic brakes with the air brakes, mm -hmm. uh, when you press the brake, mm -hmm. the efficiency is better. Plus the pulling, the typical pulling of the vehicle doesn't happen. The dragging doesn't happen. The dragging yeah. doesn't happen. Mm. It stops immediately. It stops. Mm. And in intercity operation, the sudden braking is required. Is required. So the response to the sudden braking is excellent if you compare it with the air brakes. Sure. Got it. Got it. So that's the unique booster technology we have brought uh, to give this uh, customer mm. a feel of van in a bus. So these are two these unique are the things. things which uh, differentiate uh, Paramount Monobus and I am more than sure yeah. that the way we have gained leadership in van sector, mm. uh, very shortly that's our vision to have a leadership in a mini and mini bus sector mm. and we have introduced this vehicle we need to start with in a white bus mm -hmm. the focus on staff operation and slowly and slowly we will come into the uh, school, uh, school, school bus. bus which is 60-65% of the, uh, you call, 33 segment. Mm. And then in the coming times, uh, as we discussed, uh, we were there in the Bangalore uh, Expo, yeah. uh, Bus World, uh, we will be also coming in uh, 40 seater plus. 40 seater plus. How are you bolstering your dealerships for this? Because the requirement will See, go uh, up. Mm, uh, very good question. Yeah. As far as the uh, heart of the vehicle is concerned, the engine. That is TD3250, mm -hmm. PS4 engine. And uh, our T226 will have the same engine. Okay. Right? And well, the power requirement is sufficient for this size of vehicle. Yeah. And uh, from the engine point of view and driver point of view, our dealers are already equipped to handle okay. it. Okay. Uh, only difference is the braking system and the size of the vehicle. Fine. Right. So today, wherever we are introducing the vehicles, they are fully equipped to, to handle the service of the vehicle. And uh, we have, I mean, in the last three to four years, we have multiplied our uh, reach mm -hmm. very nicely. And uh, uh, I would say we are quite competitive uh, in our reach as far as the district-wide coverage is concerned. Okay. And we have various other uh, programs. Mm -hmm. Uh, which we, we, we call it uh, Devastal program, uh, which uh, is a unique program where we, we you know, take our whole uh, service set up to the Devastal camps, Devastal uh -huh. places like Sabrimala, yeah. to Vaishnudevi, uh -huh. to uh, Chardham Yatra, okay. uh, where the customer, uh, when he is not uh, operating the vehicle mm -hmm. and his, his, his customer has gone for pilgrimage, mm -hmm. Our people do the preventive maintenance and the free service there. Wonderful. So our, and if you say, last year around 10 to 15 percent of our vehicle attendance was done at the customer's place. The so that way we have uh, multiplied our footprint mm -hmm. of service 
the last two three years, and uh, I think we are the best, one of the best of the industry. Okay.